Hi and hello everybody. Uh, today in this video I will show you all as to how you can access your Raspberry Pi or any other uh, similar singular boot computers remotely from any part of the world away from your home network. So we will be making use of this tunneling service called uh, NGROK or NGROK. Uh, excuse my uh, pronunciation. So we will be using the service called uh, NGROK to tunnel or uh, port forward your Raspberry Pi without uh, tinkering any settings on your uh, router. So to get started you need to sign up for an account. Uh, the steps are pretty much straightforward for uh, creating an account on NGROK. Upon successful uh, completion of the sign up you will be taken to your uh, NGROK dashboard which will somewhat look like this. Uh, so as of today it looks like this it could change uh, in the days to come or months to come so as of today it looks like this so we need to download the uh, ngrok file or the software by itself so you have a list of options over here um, if you are taking a raspberry pi for example it uses a linux arm version of this software so place your mouse over that right click and choose copy address so you should have the uh, SSH enabled on your Pi by default to start the NGROK service. You need some kind of an access to your Raspberry Pi. So in this case, I have uh, connected to my Raspberry Pi via SSH using PuTTY. So if you are just starting and you are unfamiliar with this, there are plenty of uh, tutorials out there in the web uh, which teaches you as to how you can connect uh, to your Raspberry Pi via uh, SSH or PuTTY. I will uh, leave the links for that in the description of this video. So upon uh, connecting to your Raspberry Pi, type wget quotes, paste that link and then close quotes and enter. So you can see the file name that has been uh, downloaded. It's called ngrok stable linux uh, arm dot zip copy that and uh, prefix this file name with sudo unzip so this will extract the ngrok file if you type ls command you can check the ngrok file to be present okay so now uh, we need to set up ngrok as a service to do that uh, i have already prepared a service or the system d file uh, you can get that by uh, cloning my repo or just download, uh, downloading the files from my repo. You can use git clone So this will uh, download the ngrok service file. I have also included a sample uh, configuration YAML. Make use of that as well. So next step is to authorize the uh, ngrok. Go back to your uh, dashboard. Click on the auth option. Copy the authorization token or you can even copy the authorization command over here that is given copy that and paste it on your uh, terminal now you will get a new location for your configuration file so i have already provided a sample for the uh, ngrok yaml uh, it is along with the uh, git that you just uh, cloned so sudo nano home slash pi or the directory where you have downloaded that ngrok service slash ngrok sample dot yml so i have already uh, created some tunnels over here just to save you some time you can copy that go back to the uh, configuration file that was created 
paste it over here. So I have created uh, three tunnels, uh, SSH, uh, the dashboard and the VNC. To test uh, the working of the ngrok you can use ngrok start all. So as you can see here uh, I have got all the three ports open. The port number 22 for uh, SSH and uh, other two ones for my uh, HTTP files. So we can test the working of this. So quickly what I will do is I will disconnect uh, from my home network and connect to my mobile hotspot. So as you can see from here, um, the putty has closed as I have uh, switched the connection. Open putty again and uh, copy this address. Paste it under the IP address part over here and under port place this one and now choose open as you can see now I have got access to my Pi even though I am connected outside the Pi's network Okay, so another example what I wanted to show you um, is the HTTP dashboard that I am using. So I am running a PyAware or the aircraft tracking uh, service. As you can see that as I am uh, connected out of my network, the dump is not running or the database is not accessible. Also you can check the status of your uh, ngrok tunnels from the status tab over here. So now as you can see uh, I have replaced the IP address with the address from the ngrok and you can see the aircraft uh, database accessed. Okay, so so far uh, we have checked and verified the working of uh, the ngrok on the Pi. Next step, I will show you as to how you can set up the ngrok to run on boot. Okay, so far we have uh, checked and verified the working of ngrok. So next, I will show you as to how you can set it up as a service. So to do that, uh, type sudo chmod plus x slash home slash pi slash ngrok hyphen service hyphen scripts slash service installer dot sh after this remove the chmod plus and execute the service installer file sudo systemctl enable ngrok dot service and then start
So now uh, the NGROC uh, will start as a systemd service on boot on Raspberry Pi. You can check the status using sudo systemctl status ngrok dot service. So again we can quickly verify if the service is running properly or not. So the second uh, TCP uh, tunnel that I created was for the VNC server which is on port uh, 5900 or 5900. So I have a tunnel created uh, using the ngrok again. If I paste that address into the VNC viewer and now boom. I can access my Raspberry Pi desktop also from anywhere in this world. Okay, so that is pretty much it guys. So that is how you can access your Raspberry Pi from any part of the world away from your home using NGROC.